Congratulations, Lotta. You've signed a new contract and you're here to stay. How does it feel to know that it's finally official? Oh, it feels amazing. Um, this contract uh, means so much more to me, uh, to my family, to my teammates, um, than just it being a football contract. It's a commitment to the club um, and it's a commitment to Arsenal, uh, the community that it's uh, active in and to my life as, as a whole because that's, that's sort of what Arsenal is, it's, it's my life. This is your childhood club, so what did you have to think about before deciding to put pen to paper? Most of the thoughts that come up when I think about Arsenal are first nature, um, second nature. They're, they're the things that um, I've lived throughout my whole life. Um, thinking back to my sixth form, Stoke Newington, uh, sixth form and high, high school, um, that was a place where everyone was Arsenal supporters. Um, Arsenal and the community were active there um, and that, that sort of weaved my way through from there to, to push me on to um, signing for the club in the first place. Um, and beyond that, Arsenal is, is home and uh, it's where I've been active uh, throughout my whole life. Now I've got to ask, the fans have been dying for you to sign this new contract, but a particular Ian Wright has been even more excited for you to sign this contract. What is it like when you're, you're going into negotiations, you've got this stuff going on and you've got a club legend like Ian Wright you know, messaging you, letting you know how much he appreciates you at this club? Well, it's cool already. Um, when you sign a contract, you know you have the support from the coach, the general manager, the CEO here at Arsenal. Um, so that in itself is, is a big confidence boost. Um, but for them, support to be coming from the one and only Ian uh, Wrighty um, is, is special. And um, you know that yeah, this, this club runs deep. It's, it's about a legacy and it's about then creating uh, a legacy for the future. And um, that's sort of what Ian stands for in my eyes. Now, in terms of your own development, how much do you feel like you've progressed as not only a player, but as a person too, since coming back from the States, States and, and coming back to Arsenal? It's been a journey. There's ups and downs with it. Um, I speak about it quite often. Uh, it's never going to be a, a, a smooth ride. It's, it's bumpy. Um, but with that, you've got to take the highs. And um, they've come. They've come in their, in their dozens. And... Um, I've been excited uh, every day, every day that I come here to, to Colney um, to, to work towards those highs um, and to be able to do that uh, not just on the pitch but off the pitch is extremely important for me and uh, that's what excites me about this new contract, being able to commit for the future uh, to create more not only on the pitch but off the pitch. Now obviously Jonas has handed you plenty of opportunities this season, big games, big occasions, some high pressure situations as well. What kind of influence has he had on your game so far? Confidence. He's instilled confidence in me and um, beyond that you can't ask for much more. Um, it's been a good relationship. He pushes me, he challenges me. From there I think that creates the most solid foundation to push on to, to be myself, to be individual, um, to, to play my way and um, I hope that's what I can continue to do uh, and continue to create. When you think about signing a contract like this, at this stage of your career, do you ever just take a moment to think about how far you've come with Arsenal and all of your coaches, teammates and family who've helped you along the way? Yeah, it's, it's a full circle moment. Um, the cliche is I have to pinch myself, but um, really it just feels normal. It feels um, like it's meant to be. Um, yeah, Arsenal, Arsenal signifies so much in my life. Um, from growing up in Hackney, Bow, East London, um, to then be able to look and give back to those communities that I've been active in and uh, do that with Arsenal on my chest, um, it's, it's a proud moment for me. I can imagine the past couple of years have just been a bit of a dream for you, Lotta, breaking into the first team, being recognised on the international stage as well. But how much of this contract is now about you really kicking on as a player becoming the best version of yourself you can be and bringing this team back to glory? I feel ready. I feel ready to compete at the high, highest stages, at the highest level. And um, that, that contract sort, sort of gives me the confidence to continue to do that. Um, I feel happy here. And when you're happy in a, in a place, um, in an environment with the people that are around you, the sky's the limit. Now, there's one very interesting commitment you've made alongside your contract that I simply have to ask about. And that's something very close to your heart, inspiring, supporting and encouraging the next generation. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that? 
like I've sort of alluded to, um, this contract feels like a full circle moment. Um, growing up in Hackney, East London, um, I've been part of the areas, the communities where Arsenal in the community have been so active. To then be able to use this moment, um, this time, this presence to be able to commit not only to a future on the pitch, but off the pitch in collaboration with Arsenal, um, I think is so important. A lot of people would know that I write about uh, the, the little things in my blog, the lot of little things, and um, that's about appreciating the little things in life, the things that people often cast to a side and say, that doesn't matter or that can't help. I view it in a different way. I see that as an opportunity to say, okay, what can we do to help here? What can we do to um, appreciate these moments, these little things? And um, with Arsenal in the community, um, I know that I can't change the country, I can't change the world, but I can change a community where I have been a part of and I have been active. And I know that with Arsenal in the community, their help, um, their support, their staff, um, I can bring change about in my community and to go into depth a bit more on that. I'm committing with Arsenal in the community my time and energy um, towards creating a programme for young women, young girls, um, to be able to build upon their life skills, their confidence, their communication skills, and to do that in a way that is very me. Um, that's talking about art, that's talking about um, the environment, that's talking about people, and that's talking about um, football as a bridge to do that. And uh, to do that with Arsenal in the community is um, uh, an invaluable thing that um, sort of spearheads this contract as a whole for me. And just finally Lotta, I want to finish with a very simple question. What does this club mean to you? If you can't tell by the smile on my face, it, it means happiness, it means um, home.